Hi, I'm Matt Sargent. Hi, I'm Chris Jansen. We're from Brock Harcourt Salisbury and we'll be talking about staging property for sale. Hope you enjoy the show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Open House. A very exciting program today. We've got Chris and Matt to my left-hand side here. We're going to have a bit of a chat with the boys, see how things happen up in Salisbury at the moment. Um, Michael Brock filling in for Greg Moulton. Moltz is actually in America at the moment. He's uh, just completed a marathon, which is an incredible performance. He did it in four hours, uh, 20 minutes, so 42 kilometres, and then drank just over 4,000 Heineken's afterwards. He really is uh, looking forward to coming back to South Australia. But uh, also we've got a, a home of the week, an absolute beauty at Selex that we'll be running through a little later in the program. But guys, uh, welcome to the program today. And uh, how are you finding things out Salisbury Way? Yeah, not too bad. It's, uh, it's, it's probably a level, uh, level market, probably where it's everywhere at the moment. A bit challenging, but we're, we're kicking a lot of goals still. Yeah. Interest rates affecting you guys? Oh, look, not significantly. We noticed a, a, a drop in the weekend following the interest rate rise, but uh, I guess buy activity is still pretty high at the moment, uh, generally at a time when, when the year quiets down a little bit, but yep. we're still seeing a lot of activity and, mm. and property settling. Fantastic. Now, how long have you guys been involved in real estate? Well, uh, it's funny you say that, actually. Uh, Chris and I actually have been best friends since we were four years old, and uh, I got into real estate first. Um, and uh, I was on to Chris's ear the whole time, get into real estate. <laughs> it's a great, great industry to be in. Mm. Um, so he finally listened to me and joined on, and probably combined we've been about five years uh, all up. Combined. Oh, fantastic. Yep. Yep. And working as a two-man team, how do you think that benefits your clients? Yeah, look, effectively, Brocky, uh, our, our vendors are obviously getting two agents working for them as opposed to one. Uh, what two for the price of one, you reckon? Two for the price of one, mate, <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, what we found is working really well is we're just working in areas or defined roles and we're doing and focusing on what we do best. Uh, as we typically know, an agent has to juggle a lot of hats, whether it be marketing, administration, buy negotiation, listing. We just focused on what we do best, me being buy management and Matt Vendor management and, and appraisals. Yeah, so we find that the process is very smooth. Uh, we're able to achieve a better result for our vendor at the end of the day. Yeah, buyers uh, agents are becoming more and more popular, aren't they, with uh, one person predominantly doing the, the majority of the upfront selling and someone else managing all of the clients that come through and leave their details and uh, getting back to them and keeping in touch. Yeah, well, One of the, uh, the main complaints that people have, I think, in the real estate industry is that uh, uh, you know, the communication lacks a lot mm. of the time. Uh, and especially, I guess, if you're a buyer, it would be nothing more frustrating than uh, going through a house, leaving your details. Often you don't even get a phone call back. Yeah. Well, uh, that's Chris's role. He, he calls everyone that's come through, grabs what you're looking for and, uh, and uh, directs you over to homes that, uh, you know, that, that, that suit your criteria. Well, every buyer is a potential seller, of course, and uh, I think Absolutely. sometimes people forget that. Your business development area, how do you work that? Um, well, we, we, we communicate with, uh, with an area of about uh, 500 homes uh, in, our, in our BDA area, yep. um, which is uh, Springmate Waters out at Burton. Uh, it's about 500 homes there where uh, we actually communicate uh, every month saying that uh, uh, what's actually sold each month uh, okay. just through, uh, through a newsletter. Uh, we've actually now achieved a 55% a, a market share over the last six wow. months in our area. So uh, it's, That's it's staggering great. because uh, normally 10-15% uh, is considered pretty strong, but 55%, mm. that's a credit to you guys. Yeah, we went yeah. through the figures uh, only the last couple of weeks and just went through everything that settled and yeah, it's 55%. So uh, great for, for anyone that wants to sell in there because uh, you know we, we have a great knowledge of the area. We know every house that's sold, mm. what it's on for, how long it's been on the market. So yep. uh, so it's very thorough and uh, most of our, our properties are in that area uh, that are on the market with us. They go on with a sideboard. Uh, the sold sticker goes up pretty quick afterwards just because we know what uh, what's going yes. on in there. Mm. That's good. Those sold stickers are always good fun putting up, aren't they? Absolutely. They really and the, the benefits of living in Salisbury? Yeah, look, for us, uh, Brocky, uh, it's an exciting time. We're seeing a lot of growth, obviously, happening out that area, whether it be um, you know, established sales. Obviously, there's a lot of you know, new construction and, and land sales that are going out there. So that's exciting for us. Um, a lot of new subdivisions are obviously coming up uh, year on year. Um, so like anything with growth, you know, we're, we're seeing uh, more and more activity in the marketplace. And, and what's the sort of average price of blocks of land out there and how big are they? Are they uh, there's been a bit of a trend from the old quarter acre block down to uh, you know, 350 square metres of uh, allotments. Is that the sort of range that they're in and what sort of prices are they bringing? Yep. 
Well, it just depends uh, exactly what size you're going to go and what areas. If you're looking in these new subdivisions, uh, you know, if you're going to buy something with 500, 550 square metres, you're probably looking around the, uh, you know, anywhere from the 150 up to about the uh, the 180. Still uh, very good buying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's very terrific. good. Uh, very affordable in our area. Uh, if you're talking about a villa size block, you're probably talking towards the low ones, 120, somewhere around there. Um, you know, but we get a few subdivisions where people uh, subdivide the uh, the corner yeah. blocks and things like that. So, you know, if it's not in a new subdivision, probably not going to achieve adds good a result, but they're still getting uh, you know, pretty good prices still. It's amazing, isn't it? Because South Australia is still the cheapest mainland state in Australia. Mm. The average price is about $400,000. But uh, my information, just recently talking to a few people at work uh, out your way as well, um, there seems to be a lot of investors coming in the marketplace, buying up blocks of land, putting little homes on that are renting out really well and actually mm. showing really good returns. So Absolutely. It, it, not only the lifestyle opportunities that you have at uh, Salisbury, but from an investor's point of view, uh, there's a lot of upside. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, yeah, look, uh, our return on investments with uh, with our um, when you rent out a property, you know, it's about 0.01 percent of what the property's value is. So, oh, okay. um, so yeah, so if you uh, per week, obviously. Yep. Um, so if you, you generally uh, can buy a house for for 280, you're probably going to get somewhere around that 280, maybe even the 300 per week out of it, which is uh, pretty good going, I think. You know, it's amazing that figure has been the same for almost 40 years. Yeah. About yeah. that 0.01 percent, it's just staggering. And, and even at the top end, you know, million dollar homes that sort yeah. of bring about a thousand dollars a week, the same sort of uh, same sort of price range. Yeah. Um, so the, the type of buyers that you're dealing with, I mean, um, obviously a lower price bracket, we've mentioned investors, but is it mainly first home buyers or people actually moving up, upgrading? Yeah, look, what we found is um, obviously the, with the first homeowners grant that those buyers have dropped off slightly. Uh, they're still out and about. Uh, they're still obviously, you know, we're at an entry, entry level pricing uh, category. So there's still a lot of young couples, singles, etc., wanting to enter the market. Okay. Um, but probably um, in the last six months, I'd say investors uh, have heavily come back into the scene. And uh, as you mentioned before, doing some smart things in terms of, you know, looking at when it comes time to retirement and their superannuation, uh, buying up in property to facilitate their, their retirement fund. Fantastic. And uh, what's the future hold for uh, you guys in the next couple of years? It's just uh, amazing that the Brock Harcourt Salisbury office is doing so well. Mm. Um, it's a credit to both of you, as I said before. Um, but uh, that market share of 55% just staggers me. Uh, is your ambition to increase that or just to keep on servicing your clients and getting results? Well, that, that's in our, in our, our specialised area. Obviously, yep. for the whole franchise area um, in Brock Harcourt, Salisbury, we're very excited about the future. Um, obviously, the office opening in 2004, we've seen growth every year. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in fact, at the moment, we're uh, our team, it's, uh, uh, it's a great little team. We, um, we, we have a, a great, um, uh, I guess, core that, that, that really performs in there. In fact, uh, we went through the figures last night. In the whole franchise area, uh, I think it was just a little bit under 20%, which is 18% we actually uh, have as a market share in there uh, currently. So, And when you've got 20 different agencies in the, air, in the area, mm. it's a very competitive market, but uh, we've definitely got our, our slice of the pie, which uh, we're very happy with. Mm. Fantastic. So how, how many people are out at the office? Well, uh, well, there's actually uh, four agents, uh, Chris and I, uh, yep. which work as a team. Uh, then you've got uh, Wayne March, uh, who's a, a consistent former, yes. uh, performer. sorry, um, And then you've got Peter Shadaz, who's actually our business owner. Um, yep. Yeah, so uh, and we just uh, had some unfortunate news uh, that obviously uh, Wayne's, uh, Wayne's moving on interstate at yeah, the moment. He's going down so to Tasmania, I think. That's right. So, yeah. so we'll be back to three, but, uh, but we'll, we'll, I'm sure we're going to grow the team from here. And uh, yeah, no, very excited about the future. Fantastic. It was a credit to you guys. Um, Chris and Matt, ladies and gentlemen, if you are thinking of uh, selling, please give them a buzz in the Salisbury office there. Um, thanks for coming in, guys. And uh, we're going to move for a break now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but stay tuned because we've got a very, very exciting property uh, coming up after the break. Hope you really enjoyed the segment. You can contact either of us on uh, chris.jansen at brockharcourts.com.au or 0423 283 265.